I would just like, like to welcome you to One Touch Ministries, second our home gathering. I'm going to say where, where our overseers is Pastor Shannon and Prophetess Na Nadidra Young. And the campus minister is myself. Um, yeah, we're going to actually start service. Yeah, with old, with old Testament scripture. Kamari owns. And the Lord put I, and the Lord put I my church. I'll say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mouth. For though the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the tree, that they may quickly shoot at the upright in the heart. If the foundation be destroyed. What can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyes witness, try to show you the men. The Lord tries uh, the Lord tries the righteous, but the wicked in him that love violence, his soul take upon the wicked. He shall rain snares, fire and limestone, and a horrible tempest. This shall be fortune, fortune of their cup for righteous Lord, for the righteous Lord love righteousness. His his content don't be hold up. now we're gonna do a new testament scripture uh, by the Delantes. Owens. But when Jesus saw if he was much disciplined and said into them, Suffer the little children to come unto me, for and be for bid them not such such for not for of such is the kingdom of God. Then I saw unto you who suffer shall, shall not receive the kingdom of God as, as a little child. He shall not enter there. And he took it, and he took them up in the arm in his arms. Put his hands upon them and blessed them. And when he was gone for into the way, there were there came one running and leaping to him and asked, "Good master, what shall I do?" Many that I may enter into the life. And Jesus said unto him, Why hast fall, fallest through me the good? There is not good but one that is God. You know, know, Knows the commits do not uh, commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, defraud, do not honor thy father and mother. And they answered and said unto him. Mass tear all these obscure uh, all these have I stirred from my yoke. Then Jesus beholding him loved him and said unto him, One thing though lack is both thy way. Sell what's 
Now we're going to go into a uh, prayer. No, let's all uh, come around. Give it to me. 
give it, the world can't take it away. Yeah, we're going to start to say a testimony. Um, no, I'm just going to go, going to give mine right now. Um, no, I thank the Lord for, for waking me up this morning, for putting me in, in my right mind. Yeah, I thank the Lord. Yeah, I thank the Lord for, for actually protecting, uh, 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 my family, uh, to say with, with his peace, with, with his, uh, say love, uh, sound mindness, and for actually keeping us, um, when they say tied to get, get together in unity. Um, so I'm just blessed that you know, know that I'm alive and, and well. gravel 
or I should say ground, are those who hear with enthusiasm. But the enthusiasm doesn't go very deep. It is uh, only yeah, another fad. For for and the moment there's trouble is gone. And the seed that fell in the weeds, well, these are the ones who hear, but then the seed is crowded out and nothing comes of it as they go about their lives, worrying about tomorrow, making money and having fun. Verse 15 reads, but the seed and the good earth, these are the good hearts who seize the word and hold on no matter what. Stick with it until there's a harvest. So I wanted to talk to you, uh, yeah, about don't don't allow the the uh, enemy to well, what to choke out your your joy. So, okay, so uh, so to so today's scripture, uh, uh, Jesus was t- telling his disciples a a story about you no know, uh, about a seed. Uh, he he was uh, using this as, as a metaphor to explain to them um, this is how certain people live go, go about living their lives. So he he, he explained that uh, you no know, he do, doesn't want us to be that type of person you know, who just only come to church on Sunday and who just only looking what to uh, get a word yeah, and then they go home and 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 then they don't do anything about it and so yeah. Yeah, and so so we know these type of people who who get jobs and they just have jobs because they just want to work and they can just make money and so they go and they just you know they don't they don't try to build nothing up with their lives they don't try to uh, uh, I want to say have a plan like they want to go somewhere you no know, they just living just to be living and so and so Jesus was explaining this through the the text of the seed. So he was referring to there was a second group, uh, where that these are people that that have a dream or they may have something that they want to do in life, but it's uh, but with soon they may see someone who who may come along with, who may come along with it, and who may be doing better than what they may have in plan, then they get discouraged about doing it, and so. You know, Jesus was explaining to the disciples that, you know, these are peoples that that is out here in the world. And then this is what he meant by by there are some who's going to get it, but then there are others who isn't going to get it. It's because, you know, they're looking at the, the text right, rather than they're looking at their lives. So, so Jesus is explaining the seeds that, that you put into the ground. You know, he doesn't want the enemy or, or other people to distract you from your dream or to distract you from the thing that you really have inside your heart to, to want to do. And then he said that there are the third other groups where that these are the people that, that plan something or that has a dream and they plan it out and and they really do uh, stick to it. So then these are the people that, that know what they want to do, that has a plan what they want to do, that has financial uh, uh, say meanings to help them to get through it, but then most importantly that they hold on to it, and they continue to keep fighting the the good fight, you know, yeah, until they 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 see results. And so, uh, this one here, you know, I have wanted to to read you this uh, dictionary uh, here, uh, version, and 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 in my version, the ver- the version I usually read from and it talks about the heart and so and it says here in the definition it says here that the uh inner heart i'm sorry that the uh, inner self that thinks feels and decides so it says in, in the bible the word heart has a much broader meaning than it does to the modern mind it said the heart is that which is central to a person and it says ne- nearly all the reference to the heart in the Bible refer to some aspects of human personality. So it says that the Bible, well, in the Bible, all emotions are experienced by the heart, which is 
uh, where it should be love and hate, uh, uh, joy and sorrow, peace and bitterness, uh, also courage and fear. It says the thinking processes are said to be carried out by the heart. Said this answer ratio, I think, oh, sorry, that that this uh, intellectual activity corresponds to what would be called mind in English. So in other words, you know, when Jesus was referring to the seeds about people not getting it, no, he w w wasn't referring to actual seed that we normally put in the ground and grow for 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 like an apple tree or but but he, he he was referring to our minds so he's referring to you know no he don't want us just just to get the word or get the information but he won't want us to put it into action so so like as i may tie this all in together here so the Lord does it want it. So, so who of us have dreams? Yeah, I got a dream, right? So we all have dreams. So we all have, I want to say, uh, we desires that we want to do something, right? Uh, so yours just want to be a what? Okay, yeah, a football player. So, so you don't. So, so you having the seed is you knowing. You know that you're going to make it, but the thing is, but but you want to make sure that you, you know, have your uh, education there because you need to make sure your grades up so the so the uh, college people can try to, you know, scout you and so therefore you can finally get a chance to go into the NFL, and so and so so you don't want people along your school path to to try to distract you. Or to allow other kids where to get you mad and get you in, you know, uh, I'm finna say in de detention or to be hanging around, you know, the wrong type of friends that can like get you in trouble. So therefore you will end up uh, behind bars rather than you being further in your dream. And so, so you don't want people as what Jesus was explaining about the, you know, the, you know, the weeds that that one seed that rose off. That go into the ground, but it's up there. We surrounding it, and so there are things that surround it that's planning to choke the life out of your dream, just because they don't have an opportunity at doing what what you want to do. And so some people may not have the opportunities that you may have. And so so even though that's is the case, you no, know, the Lord still do have a way for them to get, you know, something for them, but. But I'm just specifically speaking on for you. So for any dreams that you may have or, or any desire that you want to be or if it's a teacher, right? And that's your desire to be a teacher. So to be a teacher, and you got to be more more consumed with trying to learn how to do things in different ways. So you can't just learn how to do things just one way, but you got to learn how to do it in, in big way. You may need how to do it in grandma's way. You may need to learn how to do it in my way. And so you have all these different ways and how to teach people. So when people come to you and ask you for help, then you could tell them, oh, I know how to do that. You could do it this way. You could do it that way. And then and what's even bigger than that is that you can even have people to pay you for the information. Yeah, so so there, there are, so, you know, so, well, my dream is to do music. So, so music isn't just well. Well, we normally look at MTV or BET, and we think that that's the only music that there is, or what's on the radio. And and so, no, there there, there are more music. There's music, like I say, in, in, in the marching band. There, their music. I want to say in a, uh, in the the uh, theaters, you see the ice uh, uh, ring. The people will be coming. They be singing songs. The stuff you see on Disney TV, uh, uh, no, uh, musical. So, so, so you have plays where you got plays, and then you sing in between the plays. So, so other words, so other words, yeah, we all have dreams, but then those seeds that we have that we want to accomplish, yeah, we just want to make sure that we don't allow those those weeds and those other distractions to actually get inside of our way. To prevent us from living 
our dream. Yeah, I do want, want to speak into your life the sevenfold blessings. Number one is to just say, no, I speak blessings of help for you and your family. Yeah, I speak blessings of deliverance from any habits that you have in your life. Uh, number three, I speak blessings of peace to your mind from anybody or anything that may be disturbing you. Uh, number four, I speak blessings of salvation to any friends or loved ones. Number five, I speak blessings of comfort to any person hurting, lonely, bereaved, or confused. Say, so I speak comfort, oh, I'm sorry, I speak blessings of finances, debt cancellation, prosperity, uh, economic empowerment to all of God's people according to his riches and glory. And number seven, I speak blessings of anointings and promotions in your life to, to complete your assignment, to move forward in your purpose. So we have two, uh, 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 I want to say announcements. We had uh, uh, yeah, Miss uh, Ruthie uh, birthday was on uh, September 7th. I want to say that yeah, we have like a, a birthday song that we were that we just wanted, wanted to see to Grandma Ruthie. Say happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ruthie. Happy birthday to you. So we have no my 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 cousin Zam Marlo. He's uh birthday was September eighth, and we have mine. We which will be tomorrow, and I'll be thirty six. So we're gonna going to do the uh benediction. Okay, were well, y'all ready? Yeah, you ready? All right, just say, may God bless you. May God keep you. May God smile on you. May God gift you. May God look you full in the face and make you prosper.